they've toppled statues of his mentor, the late Hugo Chavez, is how you measured political demise in Venezuela. President Nicolas Maduro would be worried. It's not, though. Not yet. Yesterday, crowds came out onto the streets in cities and towns across Venezuela. Echoing calls by the opposition and many in the international community that the weekend's election results were not transparent. What was striking, the thousands who came into the capital Caracas on motorbikes from the surrounding slums, objecting to another six years of Maduro's brand of socialism. We're tired of Maduro, tired of being whipped. The Batar neighbourhood is here, Maduro. We came for you. 23-year-old Serrano spoke for people who had enough of an economy in freefall and mass emigration. Almost a fifth of the population has left during Maduro's 11 years in power. We're fed up. I've spent 23 years living under this government. It's always been the same. Enough is enough. I want a future for my daughter. I haven't been able to study. I can't go to college because I had to work. Over the weekend, Maduro claimed victory in a third term as president after the contested results, threw his sunglasses into the crowd. The country's election authority, headed by a Maduro ally, had called it for the boss. The opposition, though, said they hadn't been given the paper tallies they needed to confirm electronic results. 24 hours later, Maduro's demeanour less sunny, framed the demonstrations as orchestrated by elements on the far right. We've been following all the acts of violence promoted by the extreme right. I can tell the people of Venezuela that if they have done harm, we are acting. We already know how this movie ends. So once more, along with the civil, military and police, we are acting. In reality, Maduro miscalculated the extent to which the opposition would rally around this woman, Maria Corina Machado and the opposition presidential candidate, Edmonda Gonzalez. Machado has modelled herself on Margaret Thatcher, wants to privatise Venezuela's oil business. Her rallies, almost religious experiences, draped in rosary beads, promises to bring Venezuela's migrants home and reunite families. Iron Lady meets Virgin Mary. Venezuela is in electoral deadlock. What to look out for in the next 48 hours? Whose side will the military come down on? And will behind-the-scenes negotiations give Maduro a face-saving exit ramp? The U.S. has been in negotiations with the Maduro directly for months. Those are negotiations that are being um, mediated by Qatar. What I think a lot of people are trying to work quietly right now is an exit strategy which would allow Maduro to save face but also allow a transition given some guarantees. Chavistas need to know that they're not going to be persecuted immediately if they're going to leave power. Otherwise, why would they leave? The other scenario is that Maduro doubles down, starts turning the screw even more on opposition, and opens the door to the nightmare where it's not just politicians' posters on fire. <laughs>